Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Audrey Live. This is the uh, August 27th edition of Audrey Live, and we are so excited to be with everybody today. Uh, again, a beautiful sunny summer day. We just, we just can't ask for any more. I know there's some people in different areas that are not having such beautiful weather. Uh, storms coming through the states, um, the U.S., and uh, you know we're thinking of so many there that are uh, dealing with uh, the different weather that we all experience from time to time. But uh, today we are having another beautiful sunny day, I believe about 25 degrees Celsius, which is about 80 uh Fahrenheit, I believe. Um, and uh, yeah, we're just really excited about today's show. Again, I'm Audrey DeYoung and this is Audrey Live. And uh, we are here with you every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern. And I'm just really enjoying this. I mean, like I said uh, a few times, I think this kind of started just as a, a whim, go on Facebook and update people of what's going on uh, in the creative art industry, but also in our industry uh, with our shows and our events. And it's just become a really neat, happy place for people to connect and uh, learn things and, and uh, yeah, and just the connection to continue. So um, make sure you comment today and share our, our show. Uh, and if you've missed some of the shows, go over to our YouTube channel, just key in pin it can at the top and all the videos are there of past shows. Um, we have a couple of exciting things coming up this fall. Uh, we have on uh, September 17th, Thursday, September 17th, the Audrey Live that day, will be a special two hour uh, Art Waves West special. So what we're doing that day is a lot of the uh, educators and vendors that would have been at the show there in Olds, Alberta, they'll be part of the show that day, uh, kind of showcasing uh, maybe some of the demonstrations they were going to be doing, maybe some of the products that they were going to be selling, uh, what's in their booth, maybe a couple of sales, we'll see. We've already started a, a great list of people that have volunteered or that have asked to be on the show, I guess. Uh, we have um, Deb Nishima, we have Cindy Ohama, Debbie Cotton, Mandy from DeGlow's Den, Kim Evans from Emerald Creek, and uh, more to come, I'm sure. We're just, those are the ones that we've confirmed uh, to date. So uh, keep your eye out. We will try to pack as much we can into the two hours. Uh, so that'll be September 17th, starting at 1 p.m. Eastern, and we'll be going to 3 p.m. that day. So keep your eye out for that. Uh, also, uh, in line with some events that are coming up, uh, we have announced our second Pennant Canada live virtual event. We did one back in June um, and it was extremely successful. We had an overwhelming uh, response and people watching the show. So uh, we had five and a half hours of nonstop crafting that day. And this time we're going to be doing two afternoons. We just cannot fit it all into one. So we kind of asked you what you prefer, uh, one eight hour day or two, like four and a half, five hour days. And you asked for two days. So we're going to give it to you. So Friday, Octo October 23rd and Saturday, October 24th from noon till probably around five-ish, I think we will be nonstop crafting. And we've already got uh, quite a few on board. There's not too many spots left available. So if you're watching and you wanted to be part of that show or a company you represent want to be part of that show, uh, make sure you get to me probably within the next couple of days. Uh, because of course, we only have five hours each day. And once it's full, it's full. And there are some companies that are taking uh, spots on both days. So, uh, so yeah, so it's very exciting. And we're looking forward to bringing that to you as well. Um, last week, we made our announcement about our two uh, special designs from Debbie Cotton and Holly Hanley, our special exclusive 2020 designs uh, that we are working on diligently to get them on different products for you to purchase. Uh, there's just been a little bit of a, not standstill, but things are moving a little slower than they used to be. Uh, so, you know, we work with a printing company, typically they get back to us like within 24 hours because they have to call their, uh, whoever does the printing for them, uh, or wherever they get the product from and things are just taking a little bit longer. So we do have some things that we're in the works with already. Um, but we're hoping by, we, we were really hoping September 1st, but I don't think it's going to happen. 
So keep an eye out. Probably by mid-September, we'll have everything on the Pin It Canada website, and it will be called Pin It Canada Marketplace. Uh, and then you can just click on there, and then all the items uh, that are available to purchase with the two designs on it will be available there. So um, I'm just going to show you, Holly came up with a cute little um, video. Oh, where did it go? Here we go. Let's find it. She came up with a cute little video for her design that we are going to share with you uh, today. Uh, so let's just uh, get it up here for you and enjoy. forward to that design and she also has uh, the same design but she had two names and she couldn't or um, uh, I guess wording on it that she wasn't sure so she's gonna uh, share with that uh, share the second wording with us soon so I uh, just want to say hi to everybody out there I see a lot of you are on and yes Judy thank you I went and got a haircut yesterday um, cause I'm going to be for the next two weeks and then quarantine at home here and in my office, um, our daughter Corey's coming home this Saturday. Uh, so we're so excited to go pick her up at the Toronto airport and there's just quite the process. We can't actually go in the airport. So we have to stay outside and then she'll let us know, uh, when she's ready. She flies in at 9 30 AM, but hard to know what time we're actually going to see her because there's all sorts of process that she has to go through. They'll only let so many people go through at a time. So um, yeah, it'll be interesting, but then we'll have two weeks. So this week's kind of been crazy. Um, I had my grandchildren here for a couple of days. I'm gonna share, share a picture. Oh, I lost my picture. I had a picture of them here somewhere and now I can't find it. I'll look for it later. Anyway, we had a great time with them this week as well, uh, getting our last uh, hugs in and our last visits for a couple of weeks. Uh, went and got a haircut, went and got some groceries. So I think we're all set. But my other daughter, Tinica, and her partner, Jason, live very close here. So, uh, and my granddaughter, Daphne. So I'm sure if there's things we need, they'll, they'll do a drop off. And same with all my, my, my BBG friends. I know that they'll... Uh, keep me uh, supplied with whatever we need. So 
Uh, yes, so that uh, where those designs again, like I said, the Holly and the Debbie Cotton design will be available on our website within by mid September. Uh, you can get the actual pattern pack already from Holly and Deb. They are available on their websites, uh, and we'll make sure that somebody, maybe Judy or Ashley, I see you're both on, can put Holly's website and uh, and Deb Cotton's website on there so that uh, if you want to order those pattern packs to paint yourself on something, uh, you can certainly do that. Uh, hi, Sonia. Hi, Veronica. Hi, Vivian. Hi, Mary. Hi, Bella. Bev. Uh, Peg. Valerie. Cheryl. Lafferty. I haven't seen you for a while. Hello, Cheryl. Uh, Janice. Ashley. Debbie. Debbie. Uh, another Deborah. So yeah, welcome, welcome. We're just so happy to have everybody join us today for this great show. Uh, just a couple of things I wanted to go over uh, that I had noticed uh, this week that the 2020 trend prediction, it was kind of like an update to, hi Karen, uh, on um, some of the predictions for 2020 uh, that are, uh, I guess, trends that are big trends that are happening. And believe it or not, tie dye tie-dye, this trend has been a hallmark of the pandemic, they say. We continue to see buyers search for tie-dye at nine times the rate of early searches in March. Nine times, I'm many people tie-dyeing out there. So uh, everybody's getting creative, getting crafty, and I guess it's something fun to do with the kids. And uh, I know I love to tie-dye as well. So a face mask add-on. So any crafters out there, if you're looking for something, uh, you know, that you want to be unique or something that you're going to sell at shows, uh, I guess lanyards and chains are in high demand because people have their masks on and then when they are outside, they want to take them off, but they don't want to hold them. So it's, it's kind of like the thing, I guess, that you would hang your glasses from. That's, that's the idea. So, um, so, oh, thank you, Karen. Yes, my hairdo. <laughs> Uh, so that's another big trend. Hair accessories. I don't get this one, but I guess hair accessories, scrunchies, tortoise shell clips, and studded snap clips are on the rise. So if anybody knows why hair scrunchies and hair accessories, I don't know, maybe we're growing our hair longer, so we need these accessories. So uh, yeah, I thought that was interesting. Gardening. Well, of course, we all have been gardening. We spend more time at home this year. Nesting and gardening have become very popular hobbies for many people. Pet products. A lot more people are um, having a pet, pet ownership. So I guess the pet products have skyrocketed during the pandemic. An increasing number of consumers look to local retailers to source their pets, toys, and supplies. Another top trending trending thing is uh, to buy things within your own country. So if you're in Canada, to buy something that's made in Canada. Uh, if you're in the U.S., buying things that are made in the U.S.A. And I'm sure it's like that in all other countries. Over 50% of people would prefer to receive a gift that was made in their own country. So that's kind of neat. I know when I was over in Korea visiting Corey, um, hi, Sue. I hope that you're doing well and out of the hospital. Uh, anyway, while I was visiting Corey over in Korea, it was really hard sometimes to find things that were made in Korea. Everything was made in China. So I think that, and I know when I'm giving a gift, I like to get something, um, you know, that is homemade or that is made in Canada. Uh, and then that's the next one, of course, homemade. This is our second most sought after value. And 2019, 37% of millennial women said they re would prefer to receive a handmade gift. So, and that's true. I know we have um, the last couple of years for Christmases within our family, we've kind of said, let's, you know, we have so much. So, you know, we, we try to make something handmade for each other and just, you know, makes it a little bit more special. So, hi Beth, <laughs> nice for you to join in with us here today. Um, so anyway, all that aside, our live guest today, I'm so excited. I have never met Linda O'Connell personally, but uh, we've had some great chats and I feel like I know her so well. Uh, Linda O'Connell is with us today and she is from New York, from uh, Long Island, New York. Hello, Linda. Hello. Hello. Thanks for joining us. We're so happy to have you with us. Long Island. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to turn your volume down on your your other feet or else we'll just keep hearing each other. <laughs> Guys, and then I all of a sudden I'm like, I hear all this noise. OK, I'm having a little bit of a hard time hearing you. I don't know if you can put your volume up on your phone or whatever device you're using. Is that better? That's a bit better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. <laughs> And it looks like you're having an amazing sunny day there as well. Is that better? That's a bit better. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. still kind of low. <laughs> I know. We want to make sure they hear you. How, how's everybody out there, Gary or Verda, uh, anybody out there, let us know how is Linda sound? Are you hearing her okay? Maybe cool. Linda. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about yourself. No, I love I took your question last night, like, what do I say? <laughs> so what do you want me to say? Now, then, I'll tell you how I started. I started in high school. In where? High school. Oh, in high school, okay. I won a state award for a pastel portrait I did. And I have been painting and I went to school to be an architect and quit. Oh, now we can't hear you at all. At all? Oh, it keeps going in and out. And Veronica even says you're a little low. They're having a hard time hearing you. I have it all the way up. Oh. Well, maybe you just got to stay close like that. Too soft a sound, she said, Karen says. <laughs> all right. If oh. I can. Yeah, maybe that will help. We just want to make sure everybody hears you out there. Wait, what? Is that better? If I can I think so. Sue says you're in and out. They're hearing you in and out as well. And you're breaking up. Turn on sure, and put you on my there. iPad. Wait, what? Is that better? If I can You gotta turn uh. if you're in. They're hearing you. Now, were the other day. Here and I'm hearing you 30 seconds behind. <laughs> she Veronica says stay close to your then they'll be able to hear you a little bit better, perhaps. Okay. There. That you talk loud. Just talk loud. I mean, you talk loud. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so then I started going to conventions and they asked me to demo and so on. And I said, no, no, no. And then I have a very dear friend who kind of challenged me and said, well, if you can't do it, I've taught internationally. I've <laughs> perfect perfect yeah they're still having a little bit of a hard time hearing you i guess so i'm not quite sure what we can do about your volume i don't know what do i do so. um, oh you have both device maybe you have to turn one of the devices off maybe being having both of them on is um is that better that's better yes okay so i turned off my ipad now i yeah. can't see that's okay. I'll tell you what they're saying. Don't worry. I don't care about the I'm on. Just tell me if I go off camera when I'm demoing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just keep talking loud and then I hopefully they'll be able to hear you. So, um, yeah. So how did you start into your creative art business? You kind of have just always been, that's always been part of your life. Always. I started 25 years ago at my kitchen table. That's what I did and I've just gone from there. I teach most nights of the week and I just adore it. Good, good, good. Now I see that you're doing something that's called Library Live. So what's that all about? Okay, so I teach, I teach at eight libraries, but I teach my library when the pandemic hit, we had a to online. So cons, I do a beginner class and I do, we label it an intermediate, but it's, not necessarily an intermediate project. It's more less technique. Well, you're still going in and out. Oh no. <laughs> First I can hear you, then I can't hear you. I'm not quite sure. Is it better? So are you on your iPad or are you on your phone? On my phone. I wonder if it would be better. What were you on when we had our meeting? My iPad. Okay, maybe you better switch. Is that possible or not? It's possible, but when I demo, I, okay, wait, let's do this. You think I'd have it together, right? Stay in there, everybody. Oh, my daughter says she can hear you. 
But she's young. She has young years. <laughs> Thanks, Danica. <laughs> uh, what do you think, Veronica? Uh, Veronica says it's a bit better. Join with video. Wait. Okay, I'll admit you there. And then I'll... Is that better? I think that's better. I'm going to remove that other one, okay? No, can you leave both of them? Oh, um, we might be able to. We'll do that once we get to the demo, perhaps. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's much better. Much, much, much better. Yeah. For some reason, it's always better on, the sound is better on my iPad, but I can't turn my iPad this way to demo. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so, tell everybody again about your library lives, what that's okay. all about. So we started, I teach at the library. I teach at eight libraries, but I teach at the library twice a month. And when the pandemic hit, we moved to recorded videos. But then we bumped up to library lives and their cute projects. Oh, you can't see here. You oh, see that one? Yes, that's adorable. That's next week. This is my beginner piece. So when I do it, I'll go through how to stencil. I'll go through how to dry brush, how to float. And I do all the techniques and um, I put it up on my Facebook and I put the line drawing up until the day of class and the day of class, I take the line drawing down. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. So good. they can paint along or they can watch the videos. They are there at this point indefinitely. Yeah. So where can people find that? Do they just have to message you and you can share it with them or how does that work? Okay. So it's, it's on my Facebook. But it's also Mastix with an S dash Mariches dash Shirley Community Library. Okay, you're going to put that on so, the link later. I will. <laughs> or send it to me and I will put it on there. <laughs> it, it's like this big long thing, but and you go and you just come that night. It's twice the month at seven o'clock. And you can paint along or you can do it after. And it costs nothing and anybody can come. Oh, awesome. Do you have some of the other pieces that you've done in the past? At the library? At the library. Just to give them an idea of other things. That, that's the one that you're going to be doing this week or next week. Is it? It's tonight, right? It's, no, no, no. I have a Zoom class today. It oh. is next. It's the third or the second. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So this one is September. This is a <laughs> beginner one. This is the end of the month. Very and then what I did last month is I went to the dollar store and I bought this and I turned it into this. So they hang on the door. She froze. We're going to get her back. I know we will. <laughs> you froze Linda. And on my end, you're frozen. Oh my. Maybe she'll come back in again. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's from the dollar store, she was saying. Now she was going to show us how she fixed it, I think. Can you not see it? Are you there, Linda? You see, I can hear you. Are you there, Linda? Why are you frozen? Uh, I hear you? you. Oh, maybe I'm frozen. You're oh, it looks frozen. like I'm frozen. Because I hear you. Okay, so you're all going to think we're crazy because I hear her. So I'm sure you all hear me. Hello? You're frozen. Okay. Uh... Let's see if I can message you. Um... Let's go to Facebook and let's go oh, to- Okay, somebody can hear me, they say. I okay, hear Okay, I can't see Linda. <laughs> Linda can't see me. No. Debbie says she can hear both of us, but I'm frozen. I see you. I can hear Linda, but Audrey is frozen. <laughs> I, okay, oh, so- not sure. Okay, uh, Linda's on. I think you keep freezing. I keep freezing for some reason. So I'm gonna make Linda the host. 
What does that mean? Okay, Linda? Yes? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, Linda. Okay, now I can see. Yes. Now I see you. I see me. You is having technical difficulties, Jarlin. Okay, so you'll want to talk anyway. <laughs> Are you there, Linda? Yes. Okay, so we're all gonna talk anyway until she gets back. Because we all know, if you don't know, I don't like being on camera anyway. So this is what we'll talk about. We'll talk about some stuff. When Audrey gets back, we're gonna demo. I'm gonna demo with a Filbert Wave, faux squirrel, faux squirrel Filbert Wave brush. I have found, besides the fact Are you that there, you, Linda? I am. I don't think she knows I'm still talking. Hmm. All the comments on me. Okay, so we'll just keep talking without her. So what I have found is Hello. that <laughs> people go to convention or they see a new brush and they buy brushes and then they just don't know what to do with them. So, oh, look, now it's just me and I adore her. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this this way. This is mine, it's filthy because I use it for every, just about everything I design. Okay, so a quick, am I the only one on? No, I did this, I did this. I don't know, Audrey, can you, there you are. Oh my goodness, that's the first time that's ever. <laughs> I can go, I can just yap it away without you. And I'm just sweating here. So I got, I turned the fan towards me. <laughs> I said, oh, well, we just got to keep going and I'm talking and then oh, you say hello. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, I made you the host, and then I had to go out and come back in, check my internet. Let me just turn my pen. Of oh, that's it's, hilarious. It's... That's hilarious. But we did it. Yay! See, bad luck. I opened an umbrella in the house today. Oh, the fan got me. Okay, so I am going to pin you. So you can start the demo. I apologize, everybody. Oh, my goodness. We've been doing this since, I don't know, April. That's the first time that I kind of froze. So somebody somewhere is doing some mega, mega downloading somewhere. So, okay. Now, I'm wait, gonna... wait, yeah. can I move back to my phone? I think so. Okay. You're going to have to bring it on. I have to go back to the link you sent me. Yeah, I just don't know whether we want to try that. Is there any way that you can just show it with your iPad or not really? Mm, I can try. How were you doing it when I was not there? <laughs> I had both up, so I wasn't, I was just showing stuff. Oh, okay. I was showing things that I did with the brush. See, I can show the brush. Yeah. Okay, so this Let's... is what I'm going to, I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to do this. I'll try to do it this way. Yeah. I will record a short video after and send it to you to put up. Perfect. Perfect. And we'll even show it on next week's show for everybody. Well, that or way. The upcoming that way, weeks anyway, so. Uh, you'll, oh, you'll I see somebody in my neighborhood just let me know that it, our internet provider is having issues today. So, anyway, Veronica says, don't switch, LOL. Just stay the way you are. Oh, <laughs> uh, tell Veronica just, I adore Veronica, so. Okay, I'm going to pin you, though, so that you'll be the whole screen, and then I'll, I'll mute myself for a little bit so that you can just show them, and then I'll just kind of come on uh, when I see some questions and stuff like that, okay? So I'm going to pin you. There we go. 
I wonder if I move you, let's see. Go ahead. That good? That works. Yeah, I think that works. Perfect. Because I have an umbrella. Oh, okay. Because otherwise you can't see my hand. I practiced all morning. Okay, y'all ready? You're ready, go for it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a number eight faux squirrel filbert wave, which is one of my favorite brushes. I design almost every single thing I do with this brush. I design all my flowers. I design my animals. I do almost all of them with this brush. So I started here. I'm using premium acrylics. I don't know if you could see, there you go. Okay. The first thing I do, and I use it, I'm not saying this is the way everybody uses it, but this is me. Okay. So I use my brush stamp. I pick up some paints. And then when I base coat, I swipe. I'm here and I'm just swiping in. This is just so that my color is nice and opaque. You can my, move the piece a little bit more there. Yes, perfect, better? thank you, awesome. Okay. okay, so that would be my first coat. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up, and this is gonna be a new design. I just figured I'd play with it with you guys. Okay, so, and we'll take white. So I have, let me bring this over. I put out my medium. Mm, come back. My medium, which is what I'm basing with. My light which I never use solid white. I'm gonna mix the two, my darker, and then I'm gonna put some black in that, okay? I am constantly, I'll put this here so you can see, constantly wiping, okay? So when I use them, and I'll do a front petal. When I paint, I always paint from the back but out. So I would paint this one first, I number all my petals as I go. I'm here. Okay, so I got a nice wet coat. If you're in a climate where it dries real quick, just put some extender on the brush. So I'll pick up my dark with a little bit of black. And I'm gonna lay it here. Okay, I wipe. I'm moving my hand to the very back of my brush. This is something that's really, really important. And when I teach, everybody does this. You need your hand here. And just like a pendulum, just swipe. That didn't swipe so well. Okay, there we go. If it gets sticky, like mine just did, just add a little bit of extender to your brush and I'm wiping extender and my hand is all the way back. There we go. Okay. I'll wipe. Now I'm gonna go into my pink and I'm just gonna pick up some white. I have not washed my brush in between. I'm just wiping coming from the tip and my hand is all still all the way back here just like a pendulum. I'm just picking up some extender because it's getting sticky. As hot as it is there, it's like 10 degrees hotter here. Now, I may look at this and say, and I'm doing this on purpose, I'm too light. You see how light I am? And I'm definitely too dark with the black. So I'll come in. And I'm coming in with my dark, which is quinacridone gold. And I'm just gonna swipe it right over it. And that'll tone that, see that? I'm all the way back, very light pressure. So I'm here and I'm just, okay, let me see if I can do it this way. Can you see? Bending my bristles just that much. 
my handle is straight up. I'm bending just a bit and I'm swiping like a pendulum. Think of a pendulum on a clock. Now, if I get too light, I'm going back in. I think it's quinacridone red and I'm just gonna swipe some over it. Because it's wet, I'm not taking any of that color out. I'm just toning it down. You see that? All right, now, if I have something I don't like, so let's see, let's put that there. Look, I have that terrible line there. And often if your hand is here and you're moving like this, you're going to create these lines. You're gonna create a line between your colors. So I have this awful line. I'm just loading my brush, just in extender, back of the brush, and I'm so wiping. That will reactivate your paint and move your paint. So I lost that line, I pulled it into the dark, and then I pulled it up into the light. Now, I did that entire petal without washing my brush. I know you're not it's supposed really to. really very unique. Somebody's asking, what paint are you using? I'm using DecoArt Premium. Oh, okay. They're tube acrylics. Don't quote me because I'm really, really bad. I think they're $2.99 a tube straight across the board. So every, but Traditions is, goes by color. Premium, which is why I picked it for today, is $2.99 straight across the board. You can get away with fewer colors because you just mix. And I just brush mix. So yes, it's a very unique. But when I do my animals, I do the same thing. I come in and I pit pat my color. So I'm here and then I move back and I'm here. I play with brushes. So I kind of do my own thing, if that makes any sense. And so I'm not really sure. I think this is a watercolor brush, but in my world, it's not. Don't tell Veronica. Okay. So what I would do is I would be darker on the back petals. Now, when I base coated, you see that I have this here. I wouldn't have that. I would come in as I'm blending and pull that right out, okay? My black is too heavy on this piece. Often I mix the black with the red and it looks really good, but with the pink, it's not working. So I would come in and I would put a brown or burgundy. This'll get redone, okay? So you see how I'm back and I'm here, I'm not here. I'm not here and I'm not laying my brush like this. I'm literally, and I tell everybody, pendulum, think pendulum, swipe, 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 okay? Now, I can do, and I'm gonna show you how I up this with fluid acrylics. I can do an entire piece with this brush, my floating brush, which, I always use a chisel blender because you have more control. So the shorter the bristles are, the more control you are, you have. I can do my whole piece, just about every single thing between that and that. And sometimes I use a rigger. Well, I often use a rigger, but I don't always need it for every piece. Every piece I design, I can do with those two brushes. All right, so now I'm gonna show you a couple things on fluid acrylics. Can you see? Fluid acrylics. Fluid acrylics are pure pigment. They are fabulous. They are transparent. This piece is totally done in fluid acrylics. Okay, there is nothing but fluid acrylics on this piece I think except now for we the might have lost Linda. <laughs> you lost me? No, Linda, it's you. There? Yes, it's you. Uh, oh my. Linda. It's you. Let me know, people. Do you see Linda? Do you see me? Who do you hear? It's you. <laughs> I think maybe I'm gone again. Okay, so anyway, we're just gonna keep going. So you're gonna take your fluid acrylics because I'm assuming you can all see me, but I can't see your comments. So 
we're going to go by that. Our fluid acrylics are pigment. They're transparent, but they give such a punch to all your pieces. Okay. So I'm going to take a little bit. Now, of course, if I want to separate, I can float with them. You should all see me here holding my umbrella over my piece so you don't have a shadow because my studio is all glass, including the ceiling. So I have this nice little umbrella. I feel like I'm in England. So I can float my separations, which I normally I would turn my piece. I cannot turn my piece because I'm holding it. You're back. It's you. <laughs> I kept going, so don't worry. I keep seeing uh, my internet uh, provider. Obviously, they're like uh, somebody in my neighborhood uh, uh, texted me here that they're having issues today. So, because I know we upgraded to the highest amount, so we wouldn't have this issue. So, um, everybody can hear you. So, just keep on going, Linda. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, we'll come in and I float my separations. Okay. I can come in and I'm doing this first so you can see. They will. You can use them just like regular paint, okay? I can come in and I can shade here. Now you see that color? I think you can see it, right? That color is so vibrant, but because I love my brush, I'll come in, let me take my white. I have translucent white fluid acrylic. I forget that I'm on the wrong camera. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to shake it well. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to pick up the white on my brush to my paper towel. And again, back on the handle of my brush, I'm all the way back here, straight up and down. And I'm swiping my light in. You see how I just break? Linda, if you can hear me now, you are muted. If you can unmute yourself. I'm really sorry, everybody. Linda, can you hear me? I'm so sorry. Not quite sure what's going on here today. There you go. Okay. All right. So if you see that I came in and I just swiped. I swipe my lights and I swipe my darks. Now, because I'm holding an umbrella, I have to show you with my hands. I don't, uh, with my brushes, I'm not going halfway and I'm not, you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you now. Okay, that no, was my that, fault. Was that you? Okay, I was thinking, because, what did I do now? <laughs> no, 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 it muted, I don't know why. And then you sent a thing and by accident I hit stay muted. Oh. instead of unmute. <laughs> so I tried to tell you to do it again. <laughs> so when you're swiping, swipe 
three quarters of the way. And then I would do this with my hands if I wasn't holding an umbrella. Swipe three quarters. So I'm not creating a line, I'm interlocking. Here, let me see if I could do this. You've got to see me. I'm interlocking like this. I'm not creating this line when I'm swiping. Now, when you, now I just changed that entire petal by using fluid acrylics. Did you see that? So, and I build them up. Takes me a half a minute. I just come in, swipe, 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 swipe. Wipe it out and a full swipe. If I get too dry. Now, I know because I'm at every convention, I'm sure Audrey knows and Veronica and anybody who goes to a convention that everybody buys these brushes and then they go home and they don't know what to do with them. I will tell you, you buy these brushes for a reason and they are fabulous, fabulous. If you don't know, reach out to the brush company or reach out to your favorite designer or reach out to somebody you know because it's just wasted if you're not using them. They truly are wonderful. So I'll come in and I'll say, oh, maybe, and you see how, can you see this? Hey, wait, you gotta see me trying to do all this. You see how one flows into the other? So I don't have a line, I have a continuation. So when you are, I'm going to show you a done piece. When you, okay, so here's one that I did. My light is here. I have purple in here. My dark is here. And it all, see how those colors just swipe together? That was all done with a filbert wave. This entire, just about entire piece with minus a few floats is done with this brush. That's absolutely okay. beautiful, Linda. Amazing. Thank One you. thing we did re forget to mention before that you do have a giveaway today. I do. I For those do. that uh, comment or ask questions that uh, Linda has a giveaway. And what is it you're giving away today, Linda? I'm giving away this brush, not my brush, because my brush is old, but new. And you could do two people. And then I have, I have that. I'll send that right out. Can you hear me? Yes, perfect. We're good. We're okay. doing good now. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll say that you have about five minutes left. Actually, we're down to probably about three minutes, but that's okay. Just keep going. We'll we'll go a little over today because of our our technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. All right. So again, we're going right back to just this brush, fluid acrylics tube acrylics you can okay you can do it in bottled acrylics let me just grab one don't go by a color i just picked what was here and i'm going to paint i'll paint right over this so when this is done if you go back and you say oh not light enough which i often do specifically with yellows yellows tend to fade right in and i'll just brighten again. You know, I might say, oh, my light source isn't light enough. And I'll swipe that. You can do it with bottled acrylics. The only thing that you'll have, and we'll do this one. Okay, it's gonna look really strange for a minute, is that it'll dry faster. But see how I'm still swiping? Now, this is a secret because I don't know if you're supposed to, but I do. I'll take some extender on my brush, even with bottled acrylics, and I'll just still swipe. The bottled acrylics will still swipe with extender. You see that? And then I can come in. So if, you, if you're not big on tube acrylics, try them because they are fabulous. And I'm right there. In the end, this will be behind. So I'll come in and I'll float. And floating is truly my 
passion. And I'll come in and I'll just lift this petal off of that petal. And you see how, now this was not dry and that's why I took the color out of this. You see that? There we go. Maybe you can bring the piece just a little bit closer to this. Yeah, Good. there we go. Yep, perfect. Okay, so you see how I, oh my God, I wish you could get a whole video of the way I look right now. I feel like I'm back in England. You can also, if you're not a big floater, you can take your filbert wave, add a little bit more pressure, come right down the side, wipe it out, go back to your pendulum. Now keep in mind, I'm way up here, so I can't see what's down there. And you can highlight that way, okay? So if you are not a floater and when I do my florals, I do my animals, I do any of them. I don't necessarily always float. My instructions will always say float when you need to, because if you're laying your colors in and you're swiping correctly, you don't need to float. Okay. Really killed that, didn't I? Okay, so. Love that brush. A couple of people ask if you can review again what the brush type is, uh, the name, and where they can get it. It is a dynasty. Here, wait. I'll show you a nice, neat one because mine, see, look at mine. That's how much I use it. And I have a bunch of them. I have to actually order more. I don't have any. So yeah. there we go. Yeah, bring so, it up to the camera here. Then they can wait. see. I'm going to take it out of the bag because they're, well, they're new. So, okay. So it is, can you see that? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Put it back a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. It is okay. upside down, but they'll, they'll figure it out. There we go. It's a dynasty faux squirrel filbert wave number eight. Okay. Now, I will say this, and I'll probably get yelled at for it, but I'm gonna anyway. The eight is the only size they have. If they were nice, they would give me more sizes. The black gold they have in other sizes, I have a very hard time moving my paint with them. So here's a hint. When I have a problem or I'm in a smaller area, instead of being, and that's another thing you should know, you have to be all your bristles, all, okay, so when I float, I'll tell you something. All your bristles on all your surface all the time. So my bristles are here. When I'm in a very small area, because the smaller, the black golds just don't do the same because they're a different type of hair. I just move my brush to the side and I do it that way. You can get them at Maureen Baker. I think she's maureen-baker.com. And you can get them at Brush Guys. I will look up Maureen for sure. I think it's maureen-baker.com. And if Veronica's on, she can probably tell you. Um, it is, and I'm not kidding you, it is a fabulous, fabulous brush. I use it for everything. And I just swipe. The, the trick to this brush, the way I use it, is like a pendulum. And I'm gonna tell you something else because it drives me crazy that nobody does it right. So when you wash your brush, <laughs> I'm trying to hold up the umbrella. You gotta see me with the, oh, you see my umbrella stand? You put your paint, your soap in your hand. I use Murphy's oil soap because it conditions my brushes. Put it in your hand, in the palm of your hand. And when you clean your brush, put it here and just wiggle. See how little I'm wiggling? You'll see the paint almost bubble up on the side. Rinse, do it again so there's no paint. Pull, really pull. Leave your brush flat. When your brush is dry, then you can stand it. I leave them just on 
in my kitchen sink. You know, I have a little mat there and I leave them there overnight and then I'm fine. This brush, well, I don't know. I've probably used for years. And this one, this is a newer one, but it's still kinda, but look at how long they last. They, they let, oh, I'll keep going off the camera. Look, my umbrella. They, they last for a very long time. I'm going to um, unpin you and maybe you can come right beside me again so we can see your face. And then you can just tell them the last few things about both the brush. There we go. See my umbrella? <laughs> <laughs> so that's why you don't have the glare because you are in a glass room. Look at us. We're just, we're just a, a good mess here today. <laughs> this morning I got on and I zoomed with myself. And I, I was- You got black paint on your- Yeah, well. The story of my life. I got on and I zoomed with myself and I'm doing this to see if it works. Yeah. There was such a shadow, you couldn't see anything. So I went in the other room, the light wasn't good. So I said, you know what? I'm using an umbrella. Uh, perfect, perfect. Shannon wants to know, how do you paint with those long nails? Those long, beautiful nails, by the way. Okay, well, I have to say something. They're my own nails. Oh. They're my own. Wow. I have an acrylic overlay. And I have had them just about my entire life. So I think I would be more lost without them. Yeah. But I have a great nail guy who is, he picks my colors, designs, and he paints my nails with a, nail, with a paintbrush. I have no nails. Let me see your nails. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how I paint with my, because they're just, they're part of me. It's part of you. That's, yep, that's something that you've used all the time, so. It's part of me. Anyway, thank you so much, Linda. Again, I apologize, everybody. Thank you so much, everybody, for your patience today. Um, not quite sure why we were having so much technical difficulties, but we made it through. And I think everybody enjoyed it. Everybody seemed to continue to have no problem. So we, we did it. We did it. So All right. You're going to pick your winners. So you're going to just email me who you're. I will. Well, you know what? I can pick. I'm just going to. It go doesn't matter. Whatever you want. I think I will do it afterwards because I don't want to mess anything up. I will That's fine. Uh, pick the winners. I'll put them on the feed and then I will uh, send you their names and then and their addresses so that we can. And then I'll pop them right in the mail this week. Perfect. Perfect. So, yeah, thank you. We'll have to have you back on again. And yeah, once you get that video done, send it to us and we'll we'll put it on our YouTube channel. And uh, so everybody can can see it again. And I'm definitely going to have to watch the show again so I can actually focus <laughs> That was pretty fun, though. Demo. <laughs> it was a little fun, I got to say. It was fun. It's always a lot of fun. You know, we like to keep it real. And that's real. It happens to everybody. So, all Thank right. You. Thanks, Linda. Take Thank care. You. Have a great weekend. Bye, everybody. Yeah, bye -bye. Oh, you know what? I have. You have to make me the host again. Somehow. How I, really? How do I do that? Uh, let me see. Go to those three little... Co-host, make host. Yes. Oh, now there I'm the you. host. There we go. You are teaching me Zoom. I'm teaching you Zoom. Awesome. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank you so much, Audrey. It was such an honor. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> well, thank you, everybody, for your patience. That, that was... That was an event. That was a show for sure. Uh, I think that's one I'm not going to forget. Uh, luckily, I've been doing this long enough that I kind of knew what to do going in and out. And um, But yeah, it could have been more of a disaster. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sticking with us. Uh, we will put some of those links in there. I believe somebody already put uh, Maureen uh, Baker's uh, information in there. And we'll, we'll make sure we get the brush guys in there as well so that you can um, connect that way as well. So just quickly, I wanted to ask advice. I am um, getting, a, we have an old, well, our house is from 1888. So this is a picture of our house. And you can kind of see on this side, we've already put in new windows. And this side, we're getting new windows. And I want a new door. So right now my door is a dark Essex green, very, very dark green. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what color to get. Our, the trim on all the windows will be white. It'll all be the same. So it'll all be white like this. And it's hard to see our roof, but it's kind of 
Uh, it's one of those variegated colors. So it's got like a dark brown, it's got a dark gray, it's got black. So it's kind of all different colors uh, mixed in. So I'm kind of trying to figure out what color door. So our door is gonna look like this, except I'm not gonna have the stained glass. It's just gonna be clear, no stained glass, because it is such a century home. I just wanted to keep it um, nice and plain. Uh, but we're looking for ideas for colors. So, oh, I can see there's my, yeah, there's my, uh, I have talked to Debbie Cotton and she's kind of given me a couple of um, ideas. Thank you, Debbie. Uh, and I, I found this on the internet, which is kind of cool because it's got all different door colors. So I think what we're trying to figure out is what color to do the door and the trim. Should the trim be the same color as the door? Should it be white? What color should it be? So if you, anybody out there would like to send me their ideas, it would just be kind of neat to know. Yes, Liz, the door should stand alone. I agree. Red is really nice. And I have everything around, as you can see on the front. I do a lot of red. I do have red chairs. I've got my Canadian uh, home uh, thing. So I didn't know whether I wanted to go with red. And so many people go with red. So I was almost thinking I wanted something a little different. So. Anyway, um, yeah, if you have any ideas, any suggestions, send them my way. I would love to uh, kind of get an idea. And then maybe in a week or two, I will let you know what we decide. Uh, other than that, um, again, thank you for watching the show. Next week's show, uh, we have Joe Rotella, the Mr. Joe Rotella. We are extremely excited to have him on. I've known Joe uh, for quite a few years for AFCI and at some of our, our retreats. And he's going to be, and also with us will be Diane Egerwall. Egerwall. Sorry, Diane, if I said that wrong. Uh, and she is from Renia, the company Renia. And uh, so Joe's going to be representing Renia on the show and he will be doing some demonstration and we'll have a fabulous conversation. It definitely is a show you do not want to miss. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, also, we have a sneak peek into the new Stockade. Uh, I know we talked a few weeks ago or about a month ago, whatever, about Stockade and that they are going to be um, or they've revamped, you can't walk in there anymore, but they've got all online sales and everything. So we are going to have uh, a video from them uh, just showing you the new stockade, what, how they're set up now and what they, um, what they have to offer. We're going to have lots of door prizes. Stockade has given some door prizes. And also I know Joe and Diane have some treats for us too. So that will be next week, Thursday, 1 p.m. Eastern on Audrey Live. Uh, hope you can join us. Uh, everybody out there, have a great weekend. Take care of yourself. Take care of everyone else. Take care of others. And uh, have a great weekend. See you again from Audrey from Audrey Live. Thank you. Bye-bye.